We are on our way back from Vitorchiano, where we stood two days. We still have a bit of COVID left from our visit in Schifanoia. It's getting better, but we're still not 100% in order, so we keep distance of everybody. We are on our way to San Remo, and there we will park again at the free spot we have next to the sea. And then we will meet with Ilaya from Technocasa, who has sent us a promising house. And then, don't know what's going to happen next. Oh well. <laughs> That's not good. I'm all open. So, this was still open. This is also open. What did we do? Where is our brain? What happened? Okay. Well, we did it again. Back at San Remo. With a great view. But a very tired girl. Uh huh. She's cold. Made her some tea. Yeah, this is me. My shadow. Yeah, Maggie's tired. But the sun is nice, right? Two days later, we meet Elia from Technocasa. We have tested negative for COVID, so we are good to go. The house is a 20 minute drive up the mountain. After another 15 minutes climb, we enter the property. Strawberry tree. Strawberry tree.
visit the house in San Remo and yeah, I don't know exactly why, but it was not a good feeling. Yeah, it's um, the house is not finished, which in itself is not a problem because no. we can finish it. But it was very strange. Yeah, separate rooms, separate small. The the toilet downstairs was outside. Of the house on the corner. It was really strange. <laughs> yeah, you have to walk outside to get to the toilet. Yeah. You have to walk outside to get to a very small kitchen. And then there is a small part of the house that is uh, been built. And a large part of the house is still a skeleton. But you cannot reach the large part of the house through the small part of the house. No. And there weren't windows. No, windows no. were not finished. No, it's a skeleton. There was electricity. Yeah. And there uh, was water, I think. Water, yeah. Uh, but that's a strange feeling. Yeah, strange. <laughs> it was yeah. So Something doesn't add up. Oh. Besides, the road is... <laughs> It's usually here, <laughs> quite unreachable. We can't do this with camper no. as well, no. And it was walk from here, from the place we you can show it. So yeah, well we parked the car. I think 15 minutes. 15 minutes, just up, up, up. Oh, it's the same up, up, up. Why is it always up, up, up here? There is a sort of private uh, entrance, GD key, but then it's still 15 minutes up. So uh, we don't know yet. We don't no. know. No, okay. There was a nice place for vegetables and other garden stuff, and yeah. there were very nice trees. Yeah. The roof was good. Roof was good. It was yeah. New. Uh, a lot of things were new. Position is nice, but yeah. uh, we have to think about this. <sighs> the house is strange. Strange, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Off to the camper now. We are on our way to Senyo, where we will meet with Carla to visit another property she has spotted for us. And um, we're excited to, uh, or as always, we're excited to see what we'll get. The house we are about to visit is one of the biggest and weirdest we had ever seen. It's that grey building there oh, to the right. The first thing we needed to see was the basement or at least some parts of the basements. Because the entire house is fully basement. It's a Game of Thrones meets London Dungeons meets Half-Life 2 kind of experience. Incredible. Kind of spooky and kind of abandoned. Look at all these spider webs. And then up the stairs to the left we entered a winery kind of cellar. Nice touch with the seating. Also stretching along the whole left side. And further along, along the right, we find a bathroom. Bath, toilet, boiler, check. Moving along, there is a kitchen. But hold it, let's turn left here. Another magazine winery, or whatever you might call it. Nice seating, by the way. Mm. And there we have an interior patio. Neat and tidy. With a view on the neighbors. Okay, moving back to the kitchen. Behind the kitchen we have a bedroom. Room with a view. Moving back to the kitchen. Let's take a look outside on the balcony. Is there a sea view? Sea view, sea view. Ah, check. And as always, there is a gorgeous white view of the surrounding mountains. Moving on to the second floor. Because yes, there is more. Much more. Nice view, window, hmm. And there we have the balcony. With sea view, but also with a view on the harbor. Hmm, kind of disfiguring. Okay, moving on. Hmm, living room. And a second bedroom. And a third bedroom. Nice touch with the clothes hangers on the bed. Uh, hi, Hitchcock. And then we're going to the third floor and here we have a room uh, with a large mummy 
Moving on, and there is yet another storage room with to the left more space, as the owner pointed out, we didn't see that. And then we enter the baby room. The bed's still there. View, check. Nice. Okay, moving on to the fourth floor. Because yes, there is a fourth floor. Here we find a kind of corridor thingy ending in the master bedroom. Here you start to see what the problem with this house is. On every floor, every room you spot cracks and leaks and molds. The house is like a cracked egg shell. Big house, but a project far beyond our scope. The last couple of months we were searching for a house with sea view. Um, it's almost impossible. Yeah, if, if you want some land also, then it is very difficult. Yeah, that's why we are going to look a little bit higher in the mountains. Yeah. And it's really for orientation to see what's, what's, uh, what's the climate, what's the neighborhood. We are going to see tomorrow uh, the real estate agent we met two months ago. Yeah, this real estate agent was very nice in the beginning. Yeah, yeah she was very nice. Yeah. She uh, invited us in her house and she had a long story about how real estate works in Italy. Two days ago we visited the website. We, pin yeah. we pinpointed 10 houses and she has kindly given us the Google coordinates of the houses. So um, Some stories about it. Yep. And we put them on the map inside yeah. the camper. And now we are going to uh, Carlo Montenotte. And we're going to do a tour of the houses we've plotted on our map. This house we're going to visit tomorrow at San Bernardo. Well, this one we also like. And we're going to visit this one today. So, lots of things to do today. So, and here it is, the first house. <laughs> yeah. Just joking. We take a little break and admire the awe-inspiring view. As soon as we're in the shade, it becomes white, huh? Immediately, the feeling that it's cold. Yeah, yeah, it's feeling immediately it gets cold. The house looked very majestic in the pictures, but alas, it was completely in the shade, there was no garden and the land was just forest. You can't grow anything there, the ground is too acidic. We drive to Cairo Montenotte and overnight at a free parking spot. We have an appointment with the agent here tomorrow. It's starting to become cold and temperatures are dropping below freezing. Next morning our birdhouse is a little frozen. So we uh, parked the car somewhere up the road and now we are uh, walking towards the second house. It is only 500 meters now from now.
This house is the B&B, so not ours. That's the entrance. And here is the house. And there is the barn. And there is the sea. And the land is so big. 32 acres. We have some interesting news on our way back to Holland where we're going to spend the uh, Christmas and New Year. And that is that we have maybe, maybe seen the house that matches all our criteria today. And maybe it's, of course, we do not know sure because there are still a lot of factors to take into consideration. But for now, there are more positive things than negative things. Hmm? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It was nice. I see uh, my garden. I could see the sea. Yes. And there is a neighbor. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a hotel kind of B and B situation. Yeah. But there is land. There is an. Absolutely <laughs> magnificent view. Yeah. And there is a lot of land, like 60,000 square meters. That's a lot of land. It is within our budget. Um, it's okay. It's a bit far further from the sea than we anticipated. Like yeah, but not so far. I think 20 minutes. 20 minutes, yeah. 20 minutes yeah. stop. So 10, 15 kilometers yeah. off the shore. We can see the sea, okay, you have to climb a bit, but you can see the sea from the land. The house is not so big, and that's also good. It's also good, yeah. They have to do to make some changes, yeah. Sure. Of course, always changes. But that's not bad. It's 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 an old house, it's outdated. That's okay as well. Yeah, it's a strange feeling. I want to see uh, I want to Look at the neighborhood, uh, which place, which town is nearby, which... The big city is Savona. Savona is nearby. And what's closer? Can I walk to the nearest hamlet? Um, and what about the road? Yeah. Well, the but road wasn't too bad. No. It was not too bad. Okay, the last 800 meters is dirt road. So the last 800 meters is dirt road. But the dirt, even the dirt road was still accessible and yeah. we we're kind of used to... Well, if you buy a land here in the, in the rural area, then you're, you're bound to run into some kind of dirt road. Yeah. And we've seen much worse dirt roads than this one. Yeah. There was electricity, there was water. Yeah. Uh, flatland for the, the garden was perfect, really yeah. nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, the house, of course, has to, to renovate a little bit, but that's normal. You said the roof was okay? Roof was okay. Yeah, roof is good. Uh, the house is strange. It is down stairs. Yeah, it, it's that two small houses, yeah. in fact. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, even three small houses. Yeah. Uh, in the so you have to make stairs inside the house. Yeah, yeah. In the bottom floor, there's a taverna, which stretches the whole house, and then there's a first floor, um, and then there's a second floor. But the second floor is also the ground floor because it's built on top uh, to the mountain. So that's usually what you get with mountain houses, that the ground floor is also, the first floor is also the second floor, is also the ground yeah. floor, so it's uh, kind of strange. But also it has a, 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 a huge barn, which is a barn, and the real estate agents go like, yeah, yeah, you can change this into a house. Well, we don't believe that. That's up to the architect or the geometer. And if you find a nice geometer that says, okay, you can change it, this into a house, and still, you need an architect because you have to make uh, windows and doors 
and you can't do that without an architect. But that's a project that can be uh, yeah, postponed for years, you know. It's not good to, uh, just to let see what here in front of us. It's so yeah, yeah. fantastic. <laughs> Look at the view. So, well, interesting, interesting. Um, I think I'm going to contact the real estate agent tonight and uh, tell them that we are seriously interested and in what would be the next step. And if we can um, lift it over the Christmas and New Year, so that the New Year we have a new uh, view, and then yeah. hopefully we can. We're not sure if they can give us the guarantee. And otherwise we will have to do a, well, we don't know. We. Um, this is the first time that we are kind of enthusiastic about something we've seen. And we both have, both have uh, a vision of the future. And that is um, something we have not had before. Both a vision. Oh. So. There's a white card in front. Okay. Keep you posted.